Hey everybody, today I'm going to be painting an out of print model. This is the Tau Sensor Tower. Forge World used to sell it, and after some looking around, I was able to get one. So awesome. Uh, start with a base coat of Mechanicus Standard Gray. Just going to get a good coat on everything. One thing I'm not going to paint is a little stick in the middle. So now I'm going to go and do some brush work with some Eschen Gray. I'm using really, really watered down paint here because this is on a flat surface and it's really going to show those brush marks. So this is going to take a number of coats. So I'm probably going to go over each part of this three times just to get a really solid color. And this does take a while. Also waiting in between for the dry time. So I have a good audiobook on, been reading the Horus Heresy series. Uh, too bad there's not more Tal books, but yeah, it's looking okay. So the next we're going to get in here with some Abaddon Black. I'm going to start filling in where the Tal symbol is, and then also on the sides and on the bottom where the connector bits are. Also going to get the inside of each one of these little posts. So now that all that is dry, well it's not dry, you can still kind of see it's wet, but I guess I was impatient at the time, so I'm going to go back in here and start doing the lining. Uh, this is just really watered down Abaddon Black, it's a lot of frame there. I used to use Newland Oil for this, but I found it didn't dry as dark as I wanted it to, so I have been using uh, really a watered down Abaddon Black and kind of wiping it off with my finger if I get a little bit too much. So next we've got the lead belcher. I'm going to start picking out some of these details. I usually don't have a plan for this, I just kind of go with what looks or feels like it should be where and uh, giving it a little bit of character. Also on the bottom of the top part, I'm going to color all this in. And these models do still have rules, so you can still play with them, even points values. Uh, it's called Legends Rules, and you can download them for all the uh, models that have been discontinued over the years. Uh, I don't think you can do it in tournaments, but I don't play in tournaments, so I'm cool with that. And I really just want to collect all the models and paint them. So we're going to go with some dry brushing here. All over any of these parts I painted black, and also the stem. Uh, I enjoy dry brushing uh, metal, because I feel like it gives it a natural kind of metal look to it. Now we're going to go with some Screaming Bell. This is going to be for some, just all the bits that are sticking up and easy to color out. We're also going to be doing my symbols, and my color scheme for my main army is blue, uh, and I use this color for my firecast symbols. But I wanted all my terrain to just be a grayscale. Uh, maybe they're defending a city that isn't theirs or something like that. I don't know, I felt like it would be better to kind of vary it a bit. We get some wretch pewter armor and I'm just going to use some surface tension painting here to just paint the top of these little circles. A lot of times you can do this kind of painting if you don't fight the model and just kind of work with how it is. The paint will just do the hard work for you. Now we're going to be using some stenciling. I got these from Anarchy Stencils. This is what I'm using on my main army, as you can see the blue on there. But we're not going to use blue this time, we're going to get back to that Eschen Gray we used to do the edging. And uh, nothing wildly accurate here, we're just going to kind of create a fade from one side to the other, kind of random. Also on the actual uh, post too. And it's okay if it goes over the darker bits, because it's the same color as the darker bits, so it's naturally shaded out. 
And then you see as it comes off, it kind of has a cool, you know, futuristic look to it. And that also ties it into my army with the hexagon powder pattern on there, even though I'm not using any blue on this model. Now we're going to start with some weathering. Got some Abaddon Black with a fairly wet dry brush. Kind of stippling some patterns on the edges. And I think the best way to do weathering is if you ever noticed a model if you handled it too much and the paint starts to come off, that's a great place to do weathering at because that's where the theoretically it would weather by itself. I'm going to get some lead belcher and pretty thick unwatered down paint on the edge of the brush and just going to add little bits where it's gone all the way to, through to the metal where we put that those black um, marks. This way it has mostly a new look to it, but it's also, you know, slightly battle damage, but not nothing, nothing heavy, no rust, but this way you can tell that there's some battle scars to it. Alright, so we got it all done, and we're going to go ahead and put this together. I do have to say that after doing a couple of these, it took quite a lot of bending and some hot water to get these resin pieces to stick straight up. And if you even see the official pictures of this from 20 years ago, it, everything's all bendy. <laughs> so spend as much time as you want trying to fix uh, resin. And here it is, some pictures, all finished. Have a pathfinder in there for scale. And I think it turned out pretty good. Um, if anything my lining might have been a little bit thick but they really did have some deep gouges in lining in this model but yeah it was fun I ended up doing four of these let's uh, go to my list of painted models and these everything that has a check mark I've done a video on so far and we're gonna go try to find this sensor tower down in fortifications check it off my goal is to paint every Tau unit it has been made and here's some look at the other ones I've got on my to-do list and uh, we'll go ahead and put those towers in with my collection so far uh, all the models I've painted and so I, I hope you guys enjoyed this and subscribe if you'd like to see me paint some more towel units let me know if you enjoyed the video it helps me keep moving along I'll see you guys later thanks